Good morning, guys. Good morning. So I am making breakfast this morning for Ryan. So I figured I would chat with you guys why I made breakfast. I just finished my workout, as you can tell, because I look like I peed my pants. But nonetheless, workout is done. Whew, I felt like I really had to, to push myself today. Um, my energy level was a little low. But I did it. I got it completed. So that's a good thing. Um, but... I wanted to talk to you about a specific topic. Alex and I were chatting about this this morning and um, you know, it's I think it's a common feeling for most people. And I don't think it's something that's talked about enough because I think it's almost like a, people think that it's wrong to feel that way or people think something's wrong with them if they feel that way. So I wanted to, of course, talk about the topic because I always bring up things that are taboo that most people won't discuss um, and it's that feeling of just wanting to escape life you know um, I know I get that feeling at times where it's almost like good morning everybody good morning Alyssa it's almost like morning mom you want to just not escape life like hurt yourself escape life you just morning Vicki you just you want to you just you don't want to anymore you don't want to do the laundry anymore you don't want to do the dishes you don't want to make everybody's breakfast and everybody's dinners and figure everything out and you know you just you just want to escape your responsibilities a little bit um and I don't know if any of you guys feel that way so if you do let me see some thumbs up and hearts across the screen so I know I'm not the only one that feels like that um I've been feeling like that uh, the past couple days and I can't stem where the feelings coming from or why I'm feeling like that hey Angelita but I think it's just that you know sometimes we need a break and sometimes we need a vacation and even though like all last month we did a lot of traveling escaping necessarily isn't just traveling and getting away you know sometimes you just you need a break from all your responsibilities and just have some time to be with you. I see those hearts and thumbs coming across the screen. And I wanna tell you guys, it's okay to feel that way. It's okay to have those feelings. It's okay to have those emotions. There's nothing wrong with feeling like you just, you need a little bit of an escape. There's nothing wrong with feeling like you need some time. Give me a second, I just realized I didn't get out the syrup for my boys. French toast. Uh, people ask me all the time what syrup I get. I always try to get organic or all natural um, syrup. I do the same thing with my honeys. So I want to tell you guys that it's not it's not bad to feel that way. I know it's very taboo. It's not talked about a lot. When people feel that way, they normally don't discuss it, especially live on social media like I am. But good morning, Amy. But it's very common. Many, many people feel that way, that they need an escape. They need a break. They just, they just want to escape their life for a little bit. Um, and sometimes that's what I utilize my workouts for. I feel like it's my little escape. I'm not having to um, do any chores. I'm not having to do adulting. Um, and and that's, what, that's what that is. When we feel like my top is like squeezing me. When we feel like... We want to escape our responsibility and we feel like we just need to get away. A lot of times it's because we just, we don't want to adult at that time. We don't want to have to do, look at that handsome guy right there. Hi Ryan. We don't want to adult. We don't want to have to do all of the things that we're, we have to do as adults and parents and paying the bills and doing the laundry and doing all the house chores. Like sometimes we just want to sit around and do absolutely nothing. And it's okay to feel that way. Um, it's not okay to pack up your stuff and leave everyone as your escape, but it is okay to feel that way because we're humans. We're not robots. And French toast for Ryan. I made the same thing for Caleb this morning, so I kept everything out to make it for him. Um, so I just, I wanted to talk to you guys about it because I feel that it's so important for everybody to know that those feelings are natural. Um, you know, I mean, I know as the saying goes that, you know, I feel guilty when I have time for myself. Yes, I hear you on that one. It's taking me 
<clears throat> it's taking me a long time in life to be okay taking a little time for me. But I feel you on that, Vicki, because I'm the same way. I don't take very much time for myself. Um, but I want you guys to know that it's okay to feel that way. It's okay to have the emotions of just needing a little bit of a break and just needing to take some time for yourself. What are you looking for, sweetheart? I'll turn on the book up. Oh. Um, right. It's Like, here's the back of the book, and it opens like that. Um, so, yes, it is okay to sit around and do nothing. Um, but I tend to dwell on, and it's where I'm at right now. Here, sweetie, your breakfast is ready. I tend to dwell on um, trying to figure out why I feel that way. Like, I shouldn't feel like this. You know, I, I love my job. I love what I do. Um... You know, I love my kids. I love taking care of everybody. I am a nurturer. I am a do for everyone type of person. Um, so when I start to feel like that, I always question it. Like, why am I feeling this way? I shouldn't feel this way. Alex and I were actually just texting about this. Um, and it's just it's just that feeling of just wanting to escape, um, you know, and not, not have to get everything done. Hey, Nicole, how are you? Um, so that's where I'm at is... The dwelling does anybody else try to figure out why they feel that way and why it's coming around like I know us ladies a lot of times it probably comes around the same time every month right you get those feelings of some sadness or those feelings of needing a break feeling overwhelmed it's okay to have all of those emotions and all of those feelings um, it's really great and helpful to talk about them um, you might not know why you feel that way you might not understand why you're feeling the way that you're feeling. But if you could talk those feelings out and talk those emotions out, it's extremely helpful. Um, but sometimes it's just frustrating because you don't know why. Here's sweetheart. Right, there's chocolate milk in the fridge. I didn't know if you wanted that. You're welcome. So that's why I wanted to talk about the topic because I know it's taboo. A lot of people don't talk about those feelings and don't talk about um, those emotions and it's extremely important to me those are the important ones to discuss and those are the important ones to talk about because those are the ones that will get you into a depression mode those are the ones that will start to cause anxiety in some of the people that I forgot to turn my watch off some of the people that have anxiety issues so you want to be very mindful that if you are having those feelings you chat about them you talk about them you you know like me and Amy we talk about this stuff all the time um, I feel like it a lot and I get annoyed with myself. Yeah, I do too. Hey, Terry. Um, Amy and I talk about this all the time. Sometimes it's just, it's just a feeling that comes over us. You can't pinpoint because maybe it's more than one thing. Maybe it's just that you just want to sit around and let everybody take care of you for a change instead of you running around cooking all the meals, getting all the clothes done, doing the dishes, taking care of the dogs. You just might want that time for someone to care for you. <laughs> And that's okay to be that way. But if you're someone like me, it's hard. It's hard to sit around and just let everybody do for you. It's just hard to sit around in general. Um, I'm usually uh, not just um, sitting. Huh? Uh, so funny. <laughs> um, you know, if you're someone like me that you're go, 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 and you're always doing things that when you're just sitting around doing nothing, it doesn't feel right. And you feel like you need to be doing something. Even if I'm sitting down, why are you raising your hand? Because you cook too. He's doing an egg baby in school and he named his egg baby to me and he knows I used an egg to make his French toast so he just told me I cooked his egg baby. Um, so like if you're someone like me where it's hard just to sit and relax and do nothing, even if we're sitting and watching TV, the family might be relaxing watching TV but I can guarantee that I'll be folding a load of laundry, putting another load into the dryer, waiting for it to be dry, then going and getting it and folding another load of laundry. It's very rare to see me just sit and do nothing or, huh? I know, you're, you're like me, you have to be doing other things. Um, and sometimes it's just very healthy to sit and just relax. So if you're feeling like I'm feeling, and you're feeling like you just, you need, you need a break from life, you need a little escape from life or whatever, that doesn't mean you have to necessarily go somewhere and spend money. You can have that escape at home. Watch a movie, put your phone aside. Do something for you to feel like you had that little escape. Do something to where you're not doing chores, you're not working, you're not doing anything but being in that moment of just 
watching a movie. When is the last time you sat, watched a movie, <clears throat> and actually watched the movie? Right. Meaning that, meaning that you're paying 100% attention to what's going on in the movie. You're letting yourself get emotionally into the movie. You're not thinking about everything you have to do. You're not thinking about who's texting you because you've turned your watch off, you've turned your phone off, and you're just relaxing. When is the last time you have done that? Probably a long time. It's been a long time for me. Because I went to the movies with the family. I was watching the movie, but I was also thinking about everything I had to do when we were done with the movie. So I'm never 100% relaxing. Um, so that's very, very important that we do that. So if you are feeling like you just need an escape from life, you need a break from everything, give yourself that break. Make that break. Have a sick day from work. Do something so you can relax and you can stop feeling that way. I'm sorry? No. You don't need a sick day from work or school. Yeah, you can have more syrup. Come get it. Oh, lazy, lazy. So just make sure that you do something for yourself that's going to help you with those feelings. That's going to help those feelings go away. And that's going to make you feel a little bit better. So good morning, Nicole. So I'm going to think of something that I can do today. Maybe if it's nice out, I'll sit in the backyard and I won't work out there. I won't make it my office. I might just sit out there just to sit out there. Um, you made Amy laugh. What? One of your jokes. She said, good one, Ryan, LOL. Um, so I want you guys to have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. I want you, a lot of times, people feel like this every Monday because they don't want to adult. They don't want to go to work. <laughs> he feels like that every day because he doesn't want to be a child and go to school. Only because of Spanish. Yeah, he doesn't like Spanish class. Um, you made me do it. Yes, I did make you do it. And I don't even need it to graduate anymore. You used to need it to graduate. I don't anymore. Okay, Ryan. So, anyways, back to our conversation because Mr. <laughs> Mr. over here wants to be involved in all of it today. I wants to be part of it all. Um, so, if you're feeling like that, just make sure that you take that time and, and, and you do something to help yourself not feel like that. Um, so I want you guys to have a great Monday. I'm going to think of something that I can do today that will make me feel a little better, whether it's laying out for like an hour, <clears throat> reading a book, just having some me time, or watching a movie, something like that throughout the day. I mean, one good thing I have is it's not Monday blues just because I love what I do work-wise, and it's not me going to an office. I get to set my hours here at home. Yeah, I'll call you, Amy, after I drop the wacko off. Um it's just, yes you do it's right there I can I can see it from here boys um, and just make sure that you do something for you have a wonderful wonderful Monday guys I'll talk to you later bye hi Laura